After pandemic started, gradually people are returning to physical stores and it created a giant change in the world of e-commerce. As a result, Amazon is in big trouble. The company of Jeff Bezos lost billions of dollars and it's not looking good. Furthermore, it is a famous story how Elon Musk called Jeff Bezos a lazy person. But things got tense when Blue Origin executive came out with a scandalous revelation about why Blue Origin is being dominated by SpaceX. As he revealed, the company of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos is very lazy, and that's why there are no significant results and achievements. With that, Amazon bought Rivian, Tesla's biggest competitor, to beat Tesla. However, this investment created a lot of problems for the company of Jeff Bezos. More importantly, Amazon has giant problems. Sales are down, the company is losing employees, and overall situation is not looking great. This is a very interesting story, so let's explain it. So, Amazon.com Inc. reported a net loss for the second consecutive quarter, but the e-commerce company claimed that it is making headway in cost reduction as it struggles with sluggish customer demand and reduces the excess capacity it committed to in the early stages of the pandemic. Following a loss in the first quarter of 2022, which was Amazon's first in seven years, there was a shortfall in the three months ending in June. Andy Jassy, the chief executive of Amazon since a little more than a year ago, is guiding the business through one of its worst periods in its existence. Compared to a profit of $7.8 billion a year prior, Amazon's total loss for the quarter was $2 billion, due in part to the company's investment in Rivian Automotive Inc., which is the biggest competitor of Tesla in the EV industry, a manufacturer of electric vehicles whose value has been declining this year. Amazon recorded a loss of $3.9 billion before interest in taxes for the quarter. Jassy said in a statement that despite ongoing challenges for fuel, electricity, and transportation cost increases, Amazon is improving on the more manageable expenses they highlighted last quarter, including boosting the efficiency of their completion chain. The number of employees at Amazon, which had almost doubled during the pandemic, fell by nearly 6% to 1.52 million during the second quarter. In response to inflation and the general state of the economy, Brian Oslavsky, Amazon's chief financial officer, told reporters on a conference call following the quarterly report that the company is re-evaluating its hiring practices, like other businesses. He predicted that Amazon would not continue to hire at the same rate it had in recent years. But he also noted that the business remains dedicated to filling engineering positions in its cloud computing and advertising departments. Additionally, Mr. Olsavsky stated that Amazon has scaled back ambitions to grow its operations through the upcoming year and intends to move more capital expenditures away from the company's retail operations and toward cloud computing. In contrast to the third quarter of 2021, which saw net earnings of $4.9 billion, the business stated it anticipates its operating income to be far less this time. As consumers shift back to in-store shopping, Amazon's core e-commerce operation has been hampered by high expenses and modest growth in consumer demand. Sales for the period decreased by 4% for Amazon's online store segment, which encompasses the majority of its e-commerce activities. The sector saw a drop in the first three months as well. Amazon saw record sales during the pandemic, and its shipping network labored to handle the surge in orders. At that time, the business made a proactive decision to develop a network of pricey infrastructure, including warehouses, sortation facilities, and other facilities that required considerable capital expenditures. Amazon has been forced to change course as demand declines as customers return to stores and spend that money on vacations and other experiences. Nearly all Amazon's pandemic-related gains have been lost by its stock. As e-commerce exploded during the epidemic and customers flocked to online shops to buy anything from surgical masks and Lysol wipes to outdoor furniture and dumbbells, the company stock soared in 2020 and 2021. Now that the economy has recovered and people are returning to physical stores, Amazon and other internet retailers are under increasing pressure to demonstrate that they can maintain sales they had during the crisis. The most recent financial report from Amazon did little to allay such worries. The corporation reported the worst revenue growth it has experienced since the dot-com implosion and gave a current quarter outlook that came up short of Wall Street's projections. Another difficulty has emerged as a result of changing market dynamics. After the previous year, 
investors started to move away from IT companies as a result of growing inflation and the threat of higher rates of interest. After Russia attacked Ukraine in February, which led to an increase in oil prices, that trend picked up speed this year. After the Federal Reserve increased its key interest rate, stocks have fallen even more since. The IT industry has been particularly badly struck by the sell-off, with major firms losing upwards of $1 trillion in value. Because of the decrease in online sales and a decline in the value of its shares in the Rivian Electric Vehicle Company, Amazon has posted a first-ever quarterly loss since 2015. Apple, meanwhile, issued a warning that the disruptions caused by Chinese lockdowns might cost it up to $8 billion in sales. The corporation recorded a $3.8 billion loss, mostly as the result of a $7.6 billion loss on the valuation of its interest in Rivian. With aspirations for an electric delivery fleet, Amazon invested in Rivian in 2019 and now holds close to 20% of the company. But as the company has failed to accelerate production, the share price of the electric vehicle manufacturer has nearly halved since the start of the year. Amazon predicted that overall sales growth in the upcoming months might be as low as 3%, a significant deceleration from the double-digit increase it had in recent years, even before the pandemic. With that, growth around the world is slowing down, particularly in its overseas sector, where revenues fell 6%. Other expenses are also increasing quickly, adding $2 billion to the bill during the most recent quarter. The business has raised wages to entice workers in the face of labor scarcity and is also contending with a growing movement to establish unions in the U.S. Costs associated with delivery have also increased as a result of rising fuel prices. Amazon has previously announced that it will increase the cost of its Prime subscription program for U.S. users, citing rising labor and shipping expenses. Subscribers to the service receive advantages, including speedier shipment. Moreover, it's a famous story when the richest person in the world, Elon Musk, gave advice for the second richest person in the world, more effort. If the founder of Amazon wants to gain an advantage in the billionaire space race, Elon Musk claims Jeff Bezos has to spend less time in the hot tub and much more time in his space firm Blue Origin. He doesn't appear to be eager to invest mental effort in delving into the specifics of engineering. According to Musk, Despite having pretty strong engineering ability, Bezos does take himself a little too seriously. Musk said because he wants Blue Origin to advance further, he's pressuring Bezos to spend more time there. Musk asserted that he oversees projects at both Tesla and SpaceX seven days a week, spending nearly 80 to 90 hours, in contrast to Bezos' allegedly lax lifestyle. And these statements were not surprising at all, but everything got more serious when a Blue Origin executive described his company as kind of lazy compared to SpaceX. This comes after sources reported that a Blue Origin executive said in an internal document that SpaceX's competitor Blue Origin was a bit lazy in comparison. According to sources, the Blue Origin document made note of the extremely long hours that employees at SpaceX were required to put in, noting that burnout is a facet of their personnel policy and that workers are supposed to work on holidays or just not have them. According to Ars Technica, the letter was created for Blue Origin CEO Bob Smith as part of an evaluation of SpaceX's strengths and flaws. According to Ars Technica, another Blue Origin official argued in the document that the company's typical 40-hour work week wouldn't be sufficient to achieve its goals. Another executive said in a memo that they need to talk about the time and effort personnel is spending to achieve their mission adding that if they expect greater than 40 hours, then they should communicate that and evaluate personnel based on that guidance. Well, that's it for today.